Hey beauty cutie! So today I'm doing a video, um, a for favorites video of the entire winter season. Um, if you're not familiar with favorite favorites videos, it's where you mention products that you've been really into this past month or season. Um, I do them seasonally because um, I've decided to do that because I used to do them monthly, but I would skip months or just be really random, like whenever I was in the mood to do one, pretty much. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to do them seasonally now because I feel it's just a bit more consistent and um, it's four videos opposed to 12, and I would usually skip a lot too. So it wasn't really fair to you guys, so um, I just decided, you know what, seasonally is the way to go. So, um, yeah, you just mentioned products that you've been really into, and then you mentioned some people do random things, some people only do beauty things. Um, I'm going to do some fashion things and just a few, like, random electronic things or whatever. So, um, yeah, let's just get started because it's going to be a long video. So, one thing I've been really into is the entire... Fit Me collection from Maybelline. Um, I have the whole set, except for I don't have any, I don't have the blush or the bronzer, but I have like all the face, like main face, base stuff. Face base? <laughs> um, wait, does this say Fit Me on it? Anyways, it's like Maybelline, like it's the legit one, it's not just some random one. It bugs me that it doesn't say Fit Me on it though. But anyways, so I got my first ever foundation, um, and it's the Fit Me I Am 115. I love it, it's amazing. Um, I haven't been into putting it as much on this p the past like two three weeks I haven't been on into it because I've been like sleeping in and you know like just like oh I don't have time but it's an amazing foundation and I definitely recommend it if you're like a newcomer to foundation or even if you just like a nice like dewy finish like my mom my mom is 45 years old and she uses this foundation so you know it's not just for like teenagers like it gives and it gives her coverage like she doesn't have acne of course because she's not going through like puberty or anything but she um it gives her enough coverage and she loves it too because it's, it's light and it gives you a nice dewy finish but she has oily skin she has um i don't have oily skin i have like combination skin it's like only oily when i wake up so i just like you know pat it all down or whatever but she has major oily skin and she doesn't mind it and it is a dewy satiny finish so yeah and then i love the powder that it comes with it is it does have sparkles in it, but it's all right. It does like it definitely does mat mattify your face a bit more compared to what it is without it. And then the concealer, the concealer is all right. It's not that great of a coverage, but you know it's all right. And on the topic of concealer, I got my first ever corrector this past winter, and I love it. It's great. Um, oh, let me try to clean this up a little bit. It doesn't look very great, but anyways, this is the Olay. Um, the Olay and CoverGirl Simply Ages Corrector. This is the only corrector I've ever found from a drugstore. So, um, yeah, I just got it. So I was like, yep, sounds like a plan. Um, yeah, so that's great. I've been loving that this past season. Um, I got the Garnier Nutriti Skin Renew. I've been loving this. The anti-puff eye roller. Um, I've been loving this this past winter season. You know, I definitely, I do notice it, a bit of a difference. Um, I don't notice it right away. I definitely notice it as the day goes on. Um, because like that morning I'll be like sitting there from the mirror and I'll be like, it hasn't gone down. Like what's going on? But it definitely does go down like once you, it's in the day. It doesn't go down like literally in like 10 minutes. But it definitely has helped. And I feel like it definitely does wake up my eyes. Like my eyes are always like, uh, and then I put this on. Then after a few minutes, my, I do feel more like awake with my eyes. I'm not like uh, struggling to keep them open. So definitely liking that. And I don't even know how much I've used. Oh, I'm only like, I'm only like down there. So it's okay. It's all good stuff. I feel like that's going to be a really good friend of mine at dance competitions. Um, for um, eyes and stuff, I've been really into um, these two mascaras. And let me let you know. I was big into the CoverGirl Lash Blasts. Blah, lash Blast Volume, Lash Blast Lux, Lash Blast... Blah, 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 lash Blast Length. I didn't have the Fusion because I got these. And um, I was a cover girl, mascara girl. Everybody always talked about them on YouTube, so I just did it, and I loved them. Um, that's before when I didn't really know as much about makeup as I do now. But, yeah, I was in love with them. And then I got these. The One by One Volume Express from Maybelline and the Falsies Volume Express. Let me just say, 
I am now, for at least for a little bit, a Maybelline mascara girl. These are freaking amazing mascaras. Okay. So first what I do, I'll do like a whole, maybe I'll do like a mascara video. But anyways, the two of these together, flawless. Flawless, I tell you. And they're just really pretty too, too. Like they're kind of like cool, they're like indent. But yeah. And they're smaller. They're definitely smaller than the Lash Blast from CoverGirl. I'm not bashing the Lash Blast. I still like those mascaras. But I'm definitely a Maybelline mascara girl for a little while at least now. Um, but yeah, I'll do a mascara video on what I do, like my whole mascara routine, um, I guess you could say. I'll do that one day. So yeah, um, for eyeliner, I've been super into it. I used to never be an eyeliner girl. I just thought eyeliner was kind of lame, and I was just like, there's no real point of it. Like, it's not needed. Um, then I've kind of started recently using it, and I love it. Well, not recently, like this past winter month. So, um, I've been either really into just the black. I have the Estee Lauder Artist Eye Pencil in Smudge Soft Black. Soft Smudge, sorry, not Smudge Soft. Soft Smudge Black. Um, I put that on my waterline. Um, or even I've been really into colors. Um, I have like a teal one here, um, like a navy blue. And I put, I always put eyeshadow on top of my eyeliner now. I've been really into that because I find that I have all these colors because they're just like, basic colors, you know what I mean? And I have some like cool, fun little palettes that have these like bright colors in them. But um, I always put an eyeshadow on top of my eyeliner or my waterline because not only does it make the color pop and brighter, it also makes it last so much longer. I never believed it would make it last longer, but it truly does. So um, I have a teal one, um, green. I didn't really use this one at all, actually. And then like a silver. And I have, like, the one that you get for your birthday set, but I couldn't find it. I also have a purple one, and I couldn't find that one either in my drawer. But, um, yeah, so I've been really into, like, eyeliner on my waterline and stuff. Then I've also been really into the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner. I put that on my lash line in a thin line. I've gotten so many compliments on my eyelashes. Whoa, your eyelashes look really long. And it's not the Maybelline Mascara. Um, well, not only is it, this literally makes your eyelashes, this is from a whole day, of course, like, this is at 5 o'clock. Um, it literally makes your eyelashes look so long at the root. I freaking love this stuff, and I will continue to purchase things like this, if not this exact one. For a really long time, until they come up with some, like, freaking genius thing out, so then I'll be like, ah! Um... Yeah, so then also for eyes, uh, I hate to sound because I sound like a freaking hypocrite saying this, but I have found a love for my e.l.f. beauty encyclopedia, ooh, eye palette, and I know I did a review on this pretty much bashing this product, saying it's not good, the eyeshadow is all chalk off, okay. Since I have had my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, I put that on my eye every day, even if I'm not putting on eyeshadow, it just gives me such a nice clean slate, fresh look. Then I put these eyeshadows on, and I pat them on, and they stay. Some of them I haven't tried, but a few of them I've tried, and oh, they're flawless. I love them. Um, let me just say, though, this top row, okay, look at the white. The white, I said, oops, there goes all the stuff that's in it, the lining at the bottom. Oh, the little... Well, the little eyeliner it comes with, I haven't tried it. Um, I don't really want to. It's kind of hard. I remember it being like, yeah, it's like hard and like dry. Yeah. And like, it's like, look how small it is. Like there's, well, I guess people use their eyeliner so pretty freaking small. But anyway. So this top row, the white I did say in the video that it's like one of the most, it is the most pigmented color in this palette pretty much along with the black. So yeah, the top row I freaking love. Um, this second row, there's nothing really there. The third row though, these two shadows are pretty good. The cream shadows, I don't use. But I definitely do feel myself reaching for this palette because like sometimes, even if I just use one of the nude colors, it just gives a little bit of a sparkle. And also, I use them to blend out crease colors sometimes because they do definitely give a little bit of a tint of a nude color, I guess you could say. But yeah, I found a new love for this. I know I sound like a freaking hypocrite saying that, but that's before I use Painterly Paint Pot every day. 
Um, I only use it sometimes. Now I use it every day religiously, and this def it definitely does make the world's difference. Like, that should be in this favorite video. Painterly Paint Pot, like, that's just like, if you wear eyeshadow, you need that product. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's it for makeup. Um, I'm going to move on. Sorry. Um, I'm going to move on to um, just other fun beauty products. Um, um, so I've been really into my two shampoos. These aren't that old, but they're like newish, I guess you could say. But I pretty love them. The Organics Moroccan Oil Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. I love those products. They're freaking great. Um, they def the Moroccan Oil Shampoo has definitely repaired my hair a bit. Um, I still do have some split ends and stuff, but you know, they're really great together. And the coconut stuff. Your hair definitely does smell like it for a day after, and then it doesn't smell like it. But it does smell like it for like the day after or the day of you wash your hair. So yeah. One second, I'm just gonna go put these over here. Because I have no room to change my counter in my bathroom. Okay, another favorite, my Viva La Juicy Couture perfume. I'm already pretty far down. I got this at Christmas. <laughs> I freaking bathe in this stuff every morning. Oh, it just smells so good. This past winter, I have discovered glitter nail polishes. Um, all the op I don't have all the open eye ones, but I have a lot of them. Well, four of them. <laughs> That's not that many, but I've definitely discovered them, and I freaking love them. My favorite, like right now, would have to be Teenage Dream from the Katy Perry one. Oh, this one is flawless, flawless. So yeah, that's it for like little random beauty products. Um, yeah, but I've definitely discovered these and love them. And uh, right now I have on me so happy with this color and it's completely nude and I love it. But I haven't been painting my nails that much this past winter. I used to be, like live religiously like painting my nails. I don't do it as much anymore. Also, um, random little fashion things. Um, I've been really, this past winter I discovered plaid button down shirts. I wore them a lot. These are all from Abercrombie. I have like this bright springy kind of color one, this one, this one I got for Christmas, and this one. That I got for $12.90 and they're usually like $60 or something retarded, but I only buy mine ever. I only ever buy mine when they're on sale. But they're usually on sale for like $30, not $12. So and I saw it in a hand to it. I was just like, oh, yeah. So um, yeah, really love those. I've been wearing them a lot lately. Teen Vogue magazine, loving it, it's great, it's flawless, it's fun, it's just uh, amazing, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm rushing, but yeah, Teen Vogue, loving it. Um, leather jacket, any time that it's not freaking minus 80 degrees here in Canada, um, it's not my safety, but you know, whenever it's not like freezing cold, if I have a chance to wear this, and I don't go outside a lot, um, at recess, um, I don't go outside that much, but anytime I can wear my leather jacket, I was freaking wearing it, and I love it, now that it's getting a little bit warm and I can wear it, I love this thing, it's amazing, and mine's just from Triple Flip, um, I'll do an outfit of the day with that one day, one day coming up, amazing, uh, this past winter, I used to always wear Uggs, I was an Ugg girl, um, yeah, I just always wore Uggs. And this past winter, I was loving my moccasins. My little Indian moccasins. Loving them. Mine are from Soft Mock. Go for it. I have the chestnut ones. I freaking love these things. The bottoms are all like dirty and nice and worn in. But I love these things. They're so warm and great and easy. Um, and not considered about tucking my pants into them like I was my Uggs. So, great. Great thing to have. Oh, I have like no time at all. Um, I've been really into. Let me just. I've been really into iTunes and my iPod lately. I used to never have any music on my iPod or anything. Or iTunes, like my iTunes is pretty lame. But this past winter, I have become obsessed with my iTunes. I've got all these new songs, and I'm freaking loving it. My iPod. I've been loving it too. Like it's literally like my baby. It's inseparable for me. But yeah, that's my favorite video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry that I'm rushing, but I'm going to get cut off. Blah, blah, blah. 
All right, bye, beauty cuties. Have a great day.